They have flown to New York from around the world this week, some to glimpse the Statue of Liberty for the very first time. They have flown here for an occasion that has stirred the interest of the world, not a UN meeting or a summit conference, but the retirement of an athlete. The occasion takes place today, not in Manhattan itself, but past the Empire State Building and across the Hudson River in the Meadowlands of New Jersey. They have gone out the Jersey Turnpike, the thousands from overseas and the tens of thousands from the United States making a, pr a pilgrimage to a stadium named for a pro football team. But today jammed to its capacity of more than 75,000 for a soccer game. They have come to say goodbye to the man they call Pelé. He is a warm, lovable Brazilian of 36 years, a magnetic figure on and off the field. In his 22-year career, he has been the greatest soccer player the game has ever seen. He is Pelé. Pelé, who has played in 65 countries, who has scored more than twice as many goals in his career as his nearest competitor. He's the only man ever to have played on three world championship teams. Pelé brought a new dimension to the game, a style that was at once aggressive and artistic, direct yet deceptive. He was and is an absolute marvel. He first wore shoes in a game at age 12, but at 15, he was a major league player. At 17, star of the World Cup and a major world figure. Now comes the time to call it a day time for the last hurrah, for a last loving, lingering day of competition in the game that has been his life. Every seat is filled. All the other players are mere spear carriers today. They know it and they don't mind because it's Pele's day. And now, the man who has shared his unparalleled talent with the entire world for nearly a quarter of a century. The man whose impact on the true sport of the world is unequaled in any competition. The man whose elegance dignity and love of fellow man has surpassed all international boundaries. And the man who risked so much to give all of us here in the United States a new and ongoing appreciation of the sport he so dearly loved at the West Tunnel, Pele. I am very happy to be here with you in this great moment in my life. I want to thank you all, everything what you offered to me. And I want to take this opportunity to ask you in this moment, when the world looks to me to take more attention to the young, the kids all over the world, they we need them too much. And I want to ask you, because I think, I believe, love is the, uh, the, the more important than what we can take in life. Everything part. Please say to me, say with me, Three times. Love. Love. And love. Thank you very much. Muito obrigado. Yes, love is what this day is about. The love of this man for a game and his love for the children of the world who play it. The love of hundreds of millions of people around the world for this warm and simple man who so obviously 
believes what he says. Good afternoon. I'm Jim McKay speaking to you from Giants Stadium. In addition to the more than 75,000 people who will be here in person to watch this game, we have, of course, our tremendous American television audience. And around the world, in 42 countries, they tell us that between 400 and 500 million people will be watching Pele's farewell. The last game of Pele. There he is, wearing the number 10 that will never be seen again on a Cosmo player. After today, it will be retired forever.